Assalamu alaikum friends welcome back to SLK tools here in this section we'll be discussing about a spot calculations just for highways actually there are two possibilities we need a spot calculation the possibility one is when a new highway is to be constructed the possibility second may be the repairing works all right in this section we'll discuss just a new highway say this one this highway is just modeled by slk and this just lead or goes to slk town just look for a spot calculation of this highway you just need the breadth or weight of this highway the length of highway with the thickness of highway and of course you must have a little knowledge about cambers which is just slope and transverse direction to know better about a spot calculation just keep a few terms in mind remember the quantity of a spot can be calculated in weight or in volume like you can say come you may have seen in practical life uh, we just calculate a spot in tons are in cubic yard cubic meter and of course in cubic feet the ton goes to the weight and these three guys just goes to the volume also remember for a spot calculation you just need the density of compacted a spot all right and of course uh, this can be given from the side of a lab technician or a designer to you i think for better understanding we must have a few examples let's do uh, just an example all right in the example first we are asked to calculate as parts just for 50 meter long highway we are in pound to take 15 meter breadth and the thickness is 15 cm we are also in pound to ignore the camber and we are in pound to use 2330 kg per cubic meter dense as part it means this is just the density of a spot so i'll just come straight into solutions in the solution my approach will be a spot quantity remember a spot quantity can be in weight or in volume first i'll just calculate a spot in volume then let i'll calculate this guy in weight so the quantity of a spot means the volume which is length times breadth times thickness or height because this is just a rectangular prism i can also write these guys in short form l per length b per breadth t per thickness and this is good when i just plug and check in this equation i must get the volume equals l which is 50 times breadth which is 15 meter times thickness which is 15 cm it means it's 0.15 meter just divide this 15 by 100 which will convert these centimeters into meter so do little mathematics with this guy you must get 112.5 cubic meter as part and this is just the volume of this surface uh sorry this layer and this is my approach yes this is the quantity of a spot but this is in volume sometime we need to calculate a spots in weight like in tons all right and this is just a good term i like it so let me just calculate the spots in tons how much ton a spot is required for this highway it's a good question all right so uh, i can say the weight of a spot uh, can be calculated by its volume time density all right this is just a good term and of course uh, the density can be given from the technician uh, you can say a lab technician all right so i can say the weight of a spot must be volume and of course uh, we just calculated 
and the volume up uh, this uh, as the course and this layer a few minutes ago I'll just put this guy over here in this equation which is 112.5 this is the volume of this course or this layer times the density of a spot but what's the density do you know if you don't know just look at over here the density is just the mass per volume uh, and there are of course two time uh, two types of density uh, at this time this is just a mass density you may have heard that the weight density uh, which will be uh, this will be just uh, the weight per volume alert uh, this time no problem we have the density and mass per volume and the density is already given over here in the example terms so the density is given I'll just put this guy over here which is 2330 kg per cubic meter Uh, so uh, do little mathematics with these two guys you must get 262125 kg and this is the weight of this long course this long highway 50 meter yeah it's good but actually uh, I don't need an kg I just need the spot to be in tons of course you can convert this guy into tons just divide this by 1000 because 1 ton equals 1000 kg this will give you answer in tons which is 262.125 tons and this is really awesome I like it so for this highway construction we just need 262.125 tons as part this is just example one I think we must do another example when the road does have camber a transverse slope for this toot the example one is enough we'll discuss a highway when the highway does have camber later in next video toot all right per date you just wait Thank you for watching. See you next time. And what? Nothing. Wassalam.